Welcome back to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. And today I've got an action figure review for you. Before I go any further, make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment, make sure to hit the notification bell to stay notified for more videos like this one that's about to come. Today's review is... Dun, 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 dun. NECA! Pennywise dancing the... Pennywise dancing the clown? NECA! Pennywise the dancing clown, yeah. So I got it right eventually. Um, a little background on this figure. I was at Dublin Comic Con with my girlfriend when she bought this. This isn't mine, as I said in my Halloween haul video the other day. This is not my figure, but I have had it out and had messed around a bit with it. And she said, why not give it a review? So that's what I'm going to do. So today's review is for Pennywise the dancing clown. So... Let's give you a look at the box there. It's quite cool. It's like, it's based on his look from the end of It Chapter 1. Which is a phenomenal movie. I'm not so sure about the second one though. Um, on the back you can see all his different looks and stuff. Um, I'll let Mumbo Jumbo you can ignore. And you open up the box. And you see the figure in there with all the different heads. And what have you. And... We'll go over here now and take the figure out of the box and get a good look at him. Two seconds! So here you can see a better look at the front of the box. It's got the picture of Pennywise and Pennywise the Dancing Clown. On the top of it you've got It. Choking Hazard, age of 17 and up, so no kids. It again, and here we can see a proper look at all his looks that are in the box. Seven young outcasts band together to battle an ancient shape shifting evil that emerges every 27 years to prey on their town's children. Very spooky. And you have the NECA real ties thing on the side. And let's open that again. And here we see a pretty cool picture down at the bottom, which you couldn't see from the other angle. Also, you've got Pennywise here himself, and the various different heads and claws as well. And there's some extra hands down here in the box. Which is all because it's what, this, what, oh, this was opened. So let's get him out of the box. For a quick run through of uh, what's in it. So see the box down there for the moment. And we'll take all the extra pieces out. Before we do anything. Mm-hmm. Take those of my terrible humming and make a mental note of where all these go because I will have to put it back in the box. As I said, this figure is not mine. So, there we go. Let's go through the accessories first. Now, when he, came, when he was in the box, when he was sealed, he came with these on. These clip in at the elbows, I think it was, around there somewhere. So, they're really cool. He comes with Deadlight's head, which, if you look at the back, there's a little switch, and you've got the Deadlights, which is really cool. And if you head over to my Instagram, Brian Regan Action Figures, there's a nice picture with the, this figure with Ash Ketchum, if you scroll down a bit, where the Deadlights are in full effect. And it's, re it's Ash Ketchum because it's the only child action figure I had. Then there's this figure where the hands are coming out. All these hands move individually which is really creepy and really nice you can see the eyes are like a weird shade of blue as well then there's this figure this head which is really creepy it was like the librarian or whatever she was um two punching hands well what two punching hands i don't think i saw pennywise punch anything in the film but anyway let's not dwell on that too much now here's the Pennywise figure itself. It is highly articulated. Head on it is pretty cool as well. So articulation wise, it is kind of stopped head wise by his uh, clown collar thing. He looks down and up a little bit. Not, there isn't actually too much movement in the head at all. At the shoulder, the shoulders. Hands go all the way around. There's, two, there's like a double jointed elbow thingy here. 
But again, like any NECA figure, you have to be careful when you're moving it. Oh, hand came off. Great advertisement for this figure. But um, that pops in there and it moves in and out. That's why it's kind of loose. But there is a double jointed elbow. There is a swivel there as well. The swivel here at the waist. And I hate that noise. <laughs> also the shoulder comes out a little bit too. Now at the skirt. There isn't much room up here to, for movement. But there is double jointed knees. There is ankle pivot. And they do go up and down a bit as well, which is cool. And the knees, piv the knees move pivot out there as well. So he stands up pretty easily. And he's, he's, um, his stances kind of lean well into having smaller figures looking up at him because he's kind of bent over there for some reason. This figure is really cool. I'm just going to do a quick comparison. Here he is with the Leonardo NECA turtle. Here he is with a horror, st horror stable mate, the Xenomorph. So as you can see, he's quite tall for um for what he is. Here he is next to a Marvel Legend, quite bigger than horror. And here he is next to a WWE Elite. Roman Reigns is for sale. <laughs> here he is. With him, um, and yeah, so that that's NECA Pennywise. I could put, it, put on all the stuff or what have you, but it would take ages because I'd have to heat it up as well. But um, yeah, so that's NECA Pennywise, the dancing clown. For me, there's a lot of these figures released, and um, they're all very similar, which is the trouble. Well, well, it's the trouble with the film in general that Pennywise hasn't a lot of looks outside of this. Oh, this is always changes, and his hands always change. But the suit itself never really changes. So NECA have had to reuse the body a lot. And people gave out about that a lot. So hopefully for chapter 2 figures. Which if they've started to unveil. They can do something more original maybe. But um, I'm happy with this Pennywise. My girlfriend's happy with it. I don't really. I am I am a huge fan of the movies. But because. Of the, there's a real lack of movement. For me in these. And uh it's, this particularly stops a lot of it. Maybe it could have been done better, I don't know. But it's cheaper than the Mezco one, so there's that. So that's been my review of the NECA dancing. NECA Pennywise, the dancing clown. I'll get it right sometime. So don't forget to make sure to subscribe, to like, comment, tell me you disagree, tell me you disagree because I have been pretty scared, <laughs> scathing of this figure in the past. In, uh, in other in comments and stuff. So, yeah. So, thanks very much for watching. And see you on the flip side. Bye.